Now, for this dabbler, uh, the hook I'm using is the Fully Mills, the competition heavyweight, size 10. Now, you can tie it smaller, uh, 12s, you can, if you want, even 14s, uh, and it'll still work. Now, the, this is a mixed bodied version, so uh, the international dabbler normally is just a sunburst light coloured body, but this is a mixed version. So, the thread I'm going to be use, uh, using is this one here. This is going to enhance the colour of the body. I'm going to put a wee tag at the back, and obviously it will give a, a nice fire orange head. You wax the thread, you start at the eye, it's going to wind down. Basically, controlling the turns, we're using the waist piece by keeping it tight, and this helps to basically allow the turns to touch and be close together. And you remove the waist, and wind down to you're looking just at the line with the barb of the hook. Now for the tail, the tail in the wing is bronze mallard, so we've got some tips of some feathers I've been using, which I'm going to use for the tail. You're looking for a good half dozen fibres. For this fly, the tail length is going to be the length of the hook. Tie it over the back and on top. See how it's sitting. Checking what it looks like. So you bit find that tail. Uh, if you're not happy with something, just go back. I like a slightly heavier tail than that. So the fibers are a bit thin in that tip. So I've got another one here. Again, just going to check the length. Tie it over the back. See what that looks like. If you're not happy with your fly, always go back. Always change it. It's got a better mark on it, that's fine. So what I'm going to do then is trim that the length of the body, which is there. The rib of the fly is a small oval gold tinsel. Basically cast this in. As we wind up I'm going to form a small tag using the thread, which is that much, about maybe 2 mil or so. And then continue up, just make sure that these are well tied in. And I'm going to come back down, form the body. So we come back down to about 2 mil from the tail, which is there. The body is made up of three colours, and the first one is a, a nice yellow, slightly dub it on. Now, I put it on the thread, slide it up, and then do a turn. Now that then becomes like the anchor point so that I can tighten to it. So you're looking round about, obviously, a third to there. And then we've got, this is a, a fluorescent orange, or basically a very peachy orange. So we tie this in. Slide it up. And then get it started, we can then tighten up. And as you can see, we're tapered as well. The mixed bodied works really well. Just take away the excess. Uh, it gives the impression like uh, any nymph like or uh, natural looking fly tapering up, it gets obviously lighter the bark and the back and uh, darker as we go up, especially near the thorax. And this is what this is doing. Fiery brown, sorry, that's a nice fiery brown. If fiery brown or claret works in this, you can mess about it, even red. Dump it on, just make sure I leave myself plenty of room near the head for the, the wing and the hackle. Came loose a wee bit there, so just go back, tighten it up, stroke back the fibres. There we go, it's fine. Now, the hackle and the fly, I'm using the sunburst, it's see it really break. Uh, Cameron doesn't like it too well, it's kind of overwhelming, I think. Uh, but basically, this is a, kind of like a dark sunburst. This is a saddle I had, it's, uh, it's an old Mets saddle, which I dyed up. Now, what I want here is this feather's got a nice soft fibre in, at the bottom here. I want to use that near the head. So, take away the fluff. Trim, 
much time away and leave enough for us to tie in. Watch your thread. Should we secure this in. The saw fibre I want near the top, so I'll do a turn or two at the top, and then as I wind down, I'll come down to the between the orange and the fiery brown, and the orange and the yellow, and then I get to the back here. And you bring round before I for the last turn I'm going to catch in the tip here, but I'm going to leave this open at the back, I'm not going to go all the way down with the, the hackle. And then working my way up through, looking around about five turns or so. As you can near the top here, just stroke back the fibres. Just rolling my fingers through just to hold back the fibres. And then you can bring up your thread, 90 degree bend into the tinsel. Tighten up three or four turns and trim away and then trim away the hackle you got a wax on your thread and then tidy up make sure there's, if there's any wee like in this case dubbing fibres just pull them back with the thread and there we are that's fine now for the wing and the throw it is obviously brand, bronze mallard. Now I'm going to use a right and a left. So I'm going to take fibres from both uh, right and left side to try and encourage a shape. You get a better shape if you do that at times. Uh, you don't have to always do it. Now dabblers are tied either. You can tie them very light, cloaked. Uh, you can tie them as heavy. You can use up easy whole feather or more. Tying a dabbler. Uh, so I'm tying this to suit uh, a certain style, or it's just a kind of in-between, as I would call it. So I'm going to take a right and a left slip, so all I do is bring it out to the tips of kind of tapered at the end. Do the same on the other side, I've got another feather here. Just bring it out. So I've got a nice shape at the tip, and we can tear it off. And then what I'm going to do here is to lay this on top of one another like so. What I've got here is a mix of right and left fibres which are going to work together so and to encourage that I just marry them together by just pulling my finger through like this this marries the, uh, the fibres together and then I'm going to offer it to the underside the I pinch and loop up normally if you want just turn the hook upside down and sort of pinch and loop on like you would do a wing but the way I tie it's basically Obviously, put a bit of wax on there. Uh, make sure I've got plenty of grip. Uh, I do a pinch and loop up the way. So it's the quickest and easiest way I like to do it. So I hold it underneath. I come round with the thread, pinch the thread, form that loop, and come up. Two or three turns to lock it in. Now, turn it upside down, you can make sure it's slightly spread. This is more a throat than a wing, though you're tying it in much like a wing. And then you come underneath, hold the thread away with your back of your finger, come in here, and then trim away. Just be careful. The waist. Now I'm going to wee bit of flash in the wing. This is an optional thing. So what I've got here, I'll just show you the what it's called, it's called Nano Crystal Flash. It's a very fine flash and it's fluorescent orange. Uh, I use it in salmon flies, but it's very good in these. So, what I'm going to do, I've got two strands. Catch this on my side, come down a couple of turns, fold it back, a couple of turns back up, and then I trim at the end here. So, this is like an underwing of flash. I'm just going to show you the colour a wee bit better so you can see what it's like. It's Nice orange, and it goes with the fly. Just gives it a wee bit of colour. Uh, what do you call it? Twinkle when you need it in the dark water. Now I'm checking the length. Don't want it too long. Don't want it to the back of the hook. So just a wee bit too long. So I trim it. Then I'm just using my finger here to flatten it. Just basically taking the fibre forward, bending it at the base, and draw it back. Just to. Basically, get it to sit the way I want rather than straight up. 
So then we go back to the bronze mallard. Again, I'm just going to do what we did before for the under or the throat. Take off a few fibres from one side, tear it off. Then we get the other side. Basically, bring it out. Just be careful you don't get too much. Too much, you can pull it back in. Just take your time. Just quite too much there, son. Sticky on that fibre there, but anyway, that's what I want. Tear that away. And then, just simply lay one on top of the other. So, sitting on your finger. Lay the other one on top. And then, just bring your finger through it. Marrying these together. Just check the ends are close together. Then back is important times as well, so just bring these together as well. And then we look at the length, it's just, the length is the same length as the tail. So we can use that as a guide, fold it, pinch and loop, a couple of turns, two or three turns more to make sure it's not going to move. Happy with that, that looks okay. And we can trim away. Match your thread. Now what I do here is I take the thread to the, the eye. Now basically what I'm going to do is build the thread up from the front and into the cut ends. Just use that as a step up and you can see it will catch all the way up. It's easier to do it that way than actually winding, slipping down the way. You know, a wee bit of wax on my thread here. Just check, I'm just checking that it's sitting right. Now I want a decent head on this fly, I want to see it. Check it looks okay. If you're happy enough with that, then we can then quick finish. I'm just getting it again, I'm just thinking colouring the head up all the way down. Make sure that's nice and tight. Trim away. And there we are. And that's basically it's a slight variant of the international dabbler with his mixed body. And then we can quite varnish. Simply apply the varnish all the way around. Just take your time. A couple of coats and you have a nice bright shiny head. So allow that to dry. Give it a good couple of hours or so and add another. And there we are. And that's basically it's a mixed body sun uh, or sunburst colour though, but it's basically what we would call the international dabbler. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It is a nice fly if you're going to Ireland, especially that will work. And uh, in Melvin is where I normally tie it for. So I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.